Man, streets on fire, man. Power 92, you know, the hot boys, we everywhere, man. BT Wars, man. Wrapping things up, about to head on back to the shop. We had to stop by the condo, man. What's up, boy? You already know what's up, man. Soldier boy, boy in the building. Yup, yeah, in the building, man. You know, chilling. BT Awards weekend, you know what I'm saying? You know, we out here getting it in, man, in L.A., you know what I'm saying? I had to let my bro stop by the condo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we at the you know? condo, man, with the boy Soldier Boy. And uh, you get ready to do big things today, man. Yeah. Before we get up out of here, you get ready to uh, go turn the album in. Man. Yeah, man, you know, big day. Uh, one month before my album drop. You know, I'm finna go turn my album in to the label today, you know what I'm saying? Let them know what I got. Uh -huh. We're about to go five singles deep. We're gonna shoot five videos, you know what I'm saying? After the Pretty Boy Swag, I uh -huh. got my second single, produced by Boy Wonder. And that joint is called Speakers Going Hammer, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? It's exclusive, my first time saying that. So uh, yeah, that's coming is. right off the Pretty Boy Swag. I'm gonna make sure y'all get that. Yeah, that shit gonna show. <laughs> Damn, I just got through shooting a video with MTV, like, uh, the day before yesterday, like two, three days ago. Okay. And that shit was real good, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the label excited about it, so you know, I'm ready to do it. So right after the album drop, what you back on the road? You gonna get tour? Yeah, you man. After the album drop, I'm gonna go on tour, and then in September I shoot my first movie. So oh, what's yeah. up? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on with that? What's happening, with man? The, yeah, with the bro Nick Cannon. You know, uh, me and him, we did a, a, a project earlier this year. Me, him, and Justin Bieber. Uh, we did a movie called Schoolgirls, but it was only on Nickelodeon, but it still was successful. Okay. And he was like, man, I want to do more grown-up movies with you and let you star in it. Oh, so uh, he was saying, basically, he was saying that he wrote the movie when he was like 17. But he's saying that he's too old now to play the part. But he oh, want me to play the part, so y'all be on the lookout for that. It's going to be my first movie that I'm actually starring in. All right, congratulations, congratulations on that, fam. Congratulations. Now, man, it was a little stuff going on. We saw you, I did a vlog about, man, they saying they took your chain and right. it was gone. It was on eBay. What, what's, what's up with that, fam? What the hell yeah. going on, G? Yeah, nah, man. Uh, what it was, man, dude put a video up and he was like, he took my chain and shit. So I did a response. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. And then after that, he came back in. He basically apologized and said he was sorry. <laughs> And he was just like, he a comedian that was just trying to get heard and stuff like that. And he said he seen a fake SOD chain like in the pawn shop. Okay. And he said, he, uh, not in the pawn shop, but like, a, you know how they sell like fake shit, like a Chinese stove? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he said he bought the chain and flexed up with it so, so he can get some views. So, you know what I'm saying? This salute everybody got their hustle, you know what I'm saying? Lying ass niggas and shit. <laughs> so, so you don't take it personal, man. I don't you take it personal it. because I feel like, you know, I'm that big. Right. And, you know, he, what he was saying on the video, I guess, made some kind of sense. He was like, man, you shouldn't even I'm like, but I'm like, bro, why you gotta flex it like you stole a nigga chain right, though, right, you know what I'm saying? Before we let you get up out of here, my, my dude, man, now, uh, tell everybody, let's, let's go a little quick into the album a little bit, man. Okay. You about to go drop it all, let's talk about it, man. Now, you, you, done, you done gone from, 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 from Crank Dad to all, I mean, just all the way up, fam. I mean, what, what can they expect, dog? Man, you know, my third album is called Respect My Hustle, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? It is stores July 28th. Uh, man, I got a lot of people on the album. You know what I'm saying? I collect, I like this whole process from, I ain't dropped the album since 08. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? December 08. So that whole process, I just been recording with hella people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just what you can expect from this is just upgraded lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Better beats. You know what I'm saying? Bigger collabs. You know what I'm saying? Better quality. You know what I'm saying? Because when I first started, I was young. I was 16. And, and basically, it was just music I was recording in my room. So, you know, now I'm taking my crap more seriously. And I got, I got music on here that's gonna touch people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I put my heart and soul and emotion into this shit. So uh -huh. people can feel where I'm coming from and know my story and shit. They let people know that I came from the bottom to the top, like from being broke as hell in the hood. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? This and that. But I just want, I just want to people to enjoy it and, and to get my story from it, you know what I'm saying? And just at the end of the day, just respect nigga hustle. That's it. It is. That's yeah, what it is, is man. man. Yeah. Appreciate you inviting us by the condo, my nigga. All day, man. All Anytime. Next time. Next time. If, I, if I ain't had to go do this Interscope meeting, I would've got at y'all ass on that Xbox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all on the big flat screen. But hey, we're going to do it next time, man. Shout yeah. out to the whole shot time, man. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. It's beautiful. No, I know. This nigga saw us last night. He was like, y'all niggas be everywhere. Street so <laughs> foul. <laughs> we everywhere, man. It's like we in that Louis, uh, Suitcase when we come back, man. The boys has won that championship over there. I know. Sweat right across the street. <laughs> Did you go? Nah, man. That crowd watched that crazy shit. I was on the roof. The streets was crazy as fuck. For real? This whole thing, they, they was riding. They riding right there. They flipped the car over.